our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. There it says in uh, white, the ramble, and in red, it's me. I'm Alex. Cut to Alex. There we go. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you? Good after- Good evening. Well, but good afternoon. It's time for me to quit this business. What the hell? I am just all screwed up in one way or another. Listen, uh, today was quite a day, uh, news-wise, and uh, we felt that uh, we had to uh, uh, kind of change our format a little bit and bring somebody back that we usually have on Tuesday nights, and we had on, um, let's see here, we had him on last night, if I'm not mistaken, and here again is Phil Meyer, and I brought him in because, uh, you know, he has a slightly altering opinion of things, and... I, I want to be fair, uh, at least at the beginning of the show, because the rest of it will be taken up by probably a bunch of people who are anti-Trumpers. Um, uh, for, first of all, uh, uh, Phil, I want to ask you, and we're going to make this a very civil conversation, because when Phil and I do it together, we're always very civil, right, okay. Phil? I thought I was civil when we weren't doing it together. Uh, no, no, it no, no, no. Those no, others no, that... No. Uh, <laughs> um, how would you describe today? Uh, welcome to 2021. Yeah, I was the first thing I thought of was everybody went, you know, once 2020 is gone, all the madness is going away. 2021 is going to be a great year. We sure started it out great, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, okay. it's great again. Uh, now, I I what do I think of what happened today? I think it's deplorable. Good. I think. It's, it's awful. Yeah. Uh, I think that it ruined uh, something. It ruined a, a right for uh, over 100,000 people to have uh, maybe 1,000 uh, bad apples, anarchists, troublemakers uh, de- defile uh, my house, uh, mm-hmm. defile uh, where I was so looking forward to having a Congress uh, talk about uh, the issues that they felt uh, should be addressed. Now, Mm -hmm. nobody is saying that Biden's not going to get confirmed. What uh, the 12 senators, now 11, because I think Loeffler pulled out of the uh, deal. Yeah, Loeffler pulled out. Uh, These these senators are bringing up uh, something that I think will help the country heal. There's 74, 75 million Americans that voted for Trump. And of the Republicans, 83 percent of them don't feel that the election was a fair election and that it was uh, true and honest. Yeah, but I, so, I have to I have to uh, can I just jump in here uh, uh, while I, while you said something and I, I I'll forget it later on because I'm an old man. I understand. You know, um, <laughs> Uh, you know, it doesn't matter what the other voters felt about things, about how it should have turned out. Obviously, they wanted it to turn out another way. But the fact is, it went a certain way. And now let's just go through the process of being the civil... Uh, exactly. You know. Exactly. But in Congress today, we had an opportunity to have congressmen on the questionable states voice their objection and put forth what uh, they felt happened. Mm -hmm. And I, for one, would have been happy with an audit of the process because I think that there were a lot of problems with our elections uh, in 2016 uh, and and several before them. Uh, We've had a number of elections. They say that the Nixon election, Mm -hmm. 69, was it, Mm -hmm. Uh, that... There was fraud in that one uh, that helped Nixon get elected. And I think that he would have probably gotten elected. Well, you know, we can go back to Kennedy. I mean, there was fraud in Chicago. Right. Uh, They they got him elected. Now, so what's happened is that you have a number of people 
it's not a matter of that the election didn't turn out the way they wanted to. Trump lost. The other guy won. Uh, but if there was some shenanigans and and they claim there was some shenanigans, I want it investigated. Okay, okay. but it has been investigated. There have been any number of uh, suits brought against the various states for and and countless judges have said there's no case here. Okay, oh, wait a minute. Eighty, I think it's what is it? Sixty-two cases. Okay, so it's been pretty well over the last how many months? Uh, it's been mulled over and mulled over and counts and recounts. I think Georgia did like three recounts, if I'm not mistaken. This is the last place that Trump and uh, his supporters, including me, uh, can uh, voice and ask for an appeal. Once this is done, there's nowhere uh, else to go. Let me ask you. And, let me ask you. Do, do you feel that the election was rigged? Uh, in some ways, it, yeah. No, it, uh, in, in, yes, in, in yes, enough ways yes. that there would have been a different turnout. Yes. Uh, I, I felt that the mail-in voting, uh, the, uh, the way the votes were counted, a number of things that they discovered, trucks that were trucked in from New York to Pennsylvania. Where did you hear all that? Well, you know, of course. But <laughs> talk- yeah, what I'm saying is we're going to listen to the information we want. All I'm saying is this thing has been in one court after another uh, being adjudicated. States have been uh, uh, we, he went to the Supreme Court and they laughed him out of the Supreme Court. He, he didn't have standing just because you don't have standing doesn't mean you're not right. But what do you mean and, standing? Uh, well, when he uh, contested those elections, the Supreme Court. I believe said that he uh, he couldn't bring up the the state issues, uh, so he didn't have standing in order to uh, to bring them up. So uh, uh, these things. No, in one, the ca- questions- one case, they said there was just no case here. There was nothing oh, for them to take up. I mean, this, the questions yeah. have not been answered, yeah, and but, there but, obviously are some okay. frustrated people out there, frustrated enough that they call themselves patriots, but they violated. Uh, the the patriotic process. The, uh, and, yeah. Well. Okay. And- but let me ask you this. Okay. Let's get direct to the main question here. Uh, here is a president who today intimated to his audience, and I heard him say it, that they should go down Fifth Avenue to the Capitol, and uh, you know he 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 incited them. He incited. I think them. They incited him. I heard him say. Go home, be peaceful. No, that was later on. He, he did a tweet. This was when all the world was falling down around his neck. Prior to that, the speech he gave between he and Giuliani was a very aggressive speech about taking action and going and taking the Capitol and doing this and doing that. And then he left him. He went back to the White House while they went off and one of them got shot dead. Uh, I'll... Uh... Uh, that was an interesting thing too. Uh, a, a lot of them were peaceful. There was oh hundreds, hey, look, look, I'm gonna, hundreds of thousands I'm, of people out there. I'm going to say that I'll give you that the vast majority of them probably were peaceful, but the ones that weren't were quite a huge bunch. Okay, as you say, a thousand, maybe a couple of thousand, and they invaded the the Capitol. They trashed it. You know, they uh, they were they were it was it was disgusting. And it was on a day when, OK, you wanted that peaceful process to take place where uh, the guys like um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Josh uh, Hawley uh, could yeah. say, OK, I think it was rigged and I think we should look into it and all that. But what they did, they even subverted that. That's right. Okay. And I you feel know. ripped off for that. But. You know, I didn't uh, feel that the Antifa and the uh, Black Lives Matter, when they were burning cities, there uh, is no Antifa, Phil. Yeah, that's that, that's that's what you say. It doesn't um, exist, and I'm the leader. Yeah, I, 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 you look like one. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, you got one of those black masks, right? You know? yeah, 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 right. Uh, uh, so anyway. Uh, you know, I didn't condone that. I believe in free speech. I believe in your First Amendment rights right. to uh, to voice. And listen, your- I, I'm the first one to say you you should be have the ability to protest. Uh, I mean, I'm not one to 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 complain about these people today in general, uh, because in my time, 
I was out uh, demonstrating in Chicago when we got tear gas. Now, we weren't rioting, but they created a riot by the t tear gas and the way in which the police reacted. It was a police I, riot that turned into a people riot. I got to ask you this. Yeah. You got tear gas. Weren't you picking up dry cleaning for some girl uh, across the no, street? No, 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 no. There was a woman. I remember seeing this. There was yeah. a woman across the street in a convertible, okay? This is across from the park. I can't yeah. remember the name of the park now. And, and, and she was sitting in a convertible while her boyfriend was going in to get his dry cleaning. And yeah. all of a sudden, here come the cops, and they tell her, move the car, get out of here. You know, and she couldn't because she didn't have the keys. He had the keys, I guess. And they started beating her right? because she wouldn't move. And she was just waiting for her dry cleaning. Yeah. Okay. But all I'm no. saying is that I've been in demonstrations, one in Washington, for instance, which kind of turned into a, a melee. But in those days, what were we protesting against? What we were protesting against was people dying in Vietnam. Okay, people being unceremoniously drafted to go over to a place where they were getting killed in rather large numbers, and so we felt we had to put ourselves, we had to like put ourselves in the wheel, the what do they call stop the gears of progress of that thing, and and hold demonstrations and be very vocal about it. But this isn't what this was about. What this was about was one man's ego, okay, no. wanting oh. to prevail. Disagree. What this was about was 83% uh, of Republicans and 30% of independents mm -hmm. feeling that there was something wrong with this election and that the election system has to be looked into. They were the only, only, Phil, Phil, the only reason they believed there was something wrong with this election is because they were being told there was something wrong with I this election believe, by Trump. I don't believe that what Trump says can influence people to that point that you have to make a conscious decision that you feel the same way that he feels, not because he's telling you to feel that way. Phil, but that Phil, you, Phil, I got I hate to say this uh, because, uh, you know, I know you're a Trump supporter, but the Trump supporters are not that bright. <laughs> OK, they're not that bright and they can be p pulled around by a ring in their nose. OK. And the fact of the matter was, the only reason they thought this was a rigged election is because the person who was didn't win the thing said it was a rigged election. And so they said, he said it, I believe it. But if he had said, hey, listen, I lost fair and square, good luck to Joe Biden, these people would have just gone off and done something How else. Did Joe Biden get 80 million votes. He never even 80 came, million. He never asked anybody for a vote. He sat in his basement the whole time. But he got them because people, I think he got them. I'll tell you, there was part of the reason he won is because I think he ran a pretty good race. I think he, 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 well, he made a pretty good case. Okay. But secondly, it's because there were a lot of people just voting against Trump. They got tired of the, the, just the exhaustion of Trump being president. Well, there was exhaustion, and uh, we'll see what happens now that Georgia has fallen. Yeah. And, uh, and Schumer will uh, be able to support Pelosi's whims and feed it to Biden. Who well, you know, I, I, I've, I've always said that I have never been in favor of both houses of Congress uh, being of the same uh, uh, party. Oh, yeah. But because it has become so polarized, you know, there used to be a time, as you, you remember the times when, hey, you didn't know how a certain Republican was going to vote or how a certain Democrat would vote. But now they're all in lockstep. I'm a Republican. I have to vote against this. Right. Well, and because, and so uh, what became a great thing where, you know, the two uh, Congress had to kind of come to terms with each other. They don't anymore. and Nothing gets done. Well, Sam Rayburn was probably one of the most divisive uh, in his uh, reign. But the uh, what's happening is that uh, the, the uh, senators and the and the Congress people are being held hostage by the leadership because they say, look, if you don't vote with me, mm -hmm. you're not going to get uh, any, uh, you know, plum, uh, plum deals. But back back to this thing that happened today. Yeah, I really think that this is a precursor. You know, there aren't that many. I'm afraid it's a precursor, too. 
Yes, uh, I think this is going to continue. I also think it's going to get worse. Uh, and I think that uh, we have an opportunity to nip this in the bud. And the way to do that is to fully investigate what happened during this election and, ma and make sure that we that it doesn't happen again. Florida had a lot of problems during the uh, Nick, uh, the Gore uh, Bush. Now they fixed Phil, their Phil, election. Phil, but system. you know what you're what you're asking us to do is something which has been investigated. I mean, whether it's been the court cases that have been uh, adjudicated and so on, or just the sheer vote of it all. Okay, let's give him Georgia. Give him. Uh, I think you can even give That's him Phil in Pennsylvania, and he still won. It's not the point. The point is you want to know that your vote counts. And the people are Phil, saying your vote, your know. vote, your, as long as we have an electoral count, uh, uh, electoral college. college, your vote doesn't count. And the reason it doesn't count is your vote is boiled down with a whole bunch of other votes into like here in New York, I think 79 electoral votes. Well, how does mm -hmm. my vote get widowed down, you know? I, I always felt that the Electoral College was evil. What you Trump know. supporters believe is that uh, you may have all of those Democratic votes in New York, but if you're suppressing yeah. the Republican votes through uh, manipulation of the system, okay. uh, then uh, then it doesn't count. I don't care that I live in California and I, you know, a, a Republican couldn't get re, uh, elected to be dog catcher for the most part. I mean, there's a few of them, but... Uh, the idea is that I want to place my vote and I want to know that it isn't being trumped by uh, a bunch of uh, mail-in ballots that are really... Well, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with the mail-in ballots. I mean, uh, they, you know, they, they work. They are adjudicated well. Uh, God was not the same. Huh? When I mail in my ballot, because I mail them in, you know, I have uh, yeah. absentee. Yeah. It's got a signature on it. It's mm -hmm. mine. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I know yeah. that it was sent to me and not specifically. Yeah. It wasn't sent to some dead guy. It was, But, you know, th this is not the important part. The important thing is that there are angry people out there. And unfortunately, the shoe is on the other foot. I do not support what happened today. OK, let me ask you about today. Yeah. Uh, it has been described not only by Democrats but by Republicans as well, as an insurrection. Could have been. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, what do, in other countries, when there's an insurrection, what do they do with the conspirators? The military comes in and puts them down. Yeah, exactly. Shoots them. Mm -hmm. uh, you this know, are, are, these, are these, should these, some of these people, at least who, who we can say actually broke into the Capitol and so on, should they be put upon charges of insurrection? I don't know what they should charge them with. Mm -hmm. I do know that they should be charged, and we have cameras. We uh, just just like in the other riots that have been going on, Milwaukee, Seattle. Uh, we have cameras, mm -hmm. and we should be able to identify these people, and we should prosecute them. Whether they choose to prosecute them for insurrection or not, I you know I'm I'm not an attorney. I I don't know yeah. uh, the the right okay. thing to let, do. Let, you can charge somebody with something, yeah. and you overcharge them. And no, you can't. there was a woman. There was a woman who got shot to death today. Yes, and, she and was. Uh, it was very hard for me to find out until just before we went on the air that she was a uh, a 14 year Air Force veteran. Air Force veteran and a married woman. Yeah, and very much a Trump supporter. Right now, now the uh, question is, who shot her? Well, uh, now, I, I watch Fox, and according to uh, Hannity, uh, they believe it was one of the police officers. It was, it was law enforcement that shot her. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that it was a— Okay, uh, that's, but that's Hannity, and H Hannity doesn't know shit. Okay. Well, he gets information. Well, he, he, but he, he does, nope. he, I don't think he really knows shit. Uh, well, he has people in the field, but it, it also— uh, I heard it in a number of other places. Because I was watching well. Newsmax at one point, and they said two people had been killed, or had been I shot. Don't, I, don't know. You know? I only heard about the one woman. Yeah. I think that what happened was one of the officer's guns uh, ne negligently discharged. I don't think anyone was aiming at her. Yeah. I It was a negligent discharge. 
and uh, uh, in, in the heat of what was happening. You know, I, I don't think any of the, you know, I've been in riots and I've been in the police officer mm -hmm. uh, part of the riot with yeah. the stick pushing the crowd yeah, it was back. You were the policeman rioting. Uh, yeah, okay. no, I was I was pushing back the rioters. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I've been in two or three uh, good sized riots, mm -hmm. uh, you know, where rocks and bottles. And yeah. Uh, yeah. so anyway, I could see, you know, that with with the nightstick, even in, uh, you know, if you look at pictures of Kent State and you look at the, the guys uh, pushing off, nobody had their gun out. Uh, now well, I let's, did see let's not go back and adjudicate that, but yeah. right. well, I saw a picture today of uh, uh, several officers at the Capitol, and they all had their guns drawn, mm -hmm. and handguns. There it was like four or five of them. The, no, this was inside the uh, either the inside center, the rotunda, inside no, inside the chamber, and yes. they had, well, they, they, had, they, had they had taken I, they had taken a piece of furniture and put it up against the door, and there were some people who were breaking the door, and they literally had handguns pointing at these people. As they were trying to come through. Yes. Well, maybe yeah. that's what I saw. That's what you saw. Uh, but that's not where the uh, where the uh, gal got shot. Mm -hmm. And uh, who you knows? Know, who, uh, we'll find out what happened eventually. Yeah. Uh, you know. But it's sad that anybody had to die over this. But what they did today, I it just so so upset me. You know, and I'm a guy who, in my time, has gone to demonstrations. My first uh, riot was outside the American Embassy in London after Kent State, and I looked out my hotel window, and there were all these people in Grosvenor Square, uh, and I looked over, and it was. I, I said to somebody, "What's that over there?" And they said, "That's the American Embassy." So I went down, and I joined them in the demonstration, and uh, uh, I must say, the British that, handle those London? things very well. What? what? London, right? Yeah. Yeah, and we threw rock. I got to throw rocks at the American embassy. Yeah, you yeah. know, I uh, a month. I was in London a month after they bombed that Hilton mm. uh, in the early seventies, and that uh, and that was uh, Paris Hilton, and she was just walking her dog. <laughs> she wasn't born yet, yeah. uh, but uh, I think I, I think know. both of us agree that today was pretty much a low point in America. You know, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You know, uh, I I am. I am hurt that this happened. I mean, it it really it really uh, uh, it re really struck me that uh, that America has gotten to this point and we're this separated. Mm -hmm. And it's time uh, it's time we figure this out. And if and if we have to clean up our elections, I mean, I don't want to have an election that they say it's more legitimate in Afghanistan than it is in. Well, in all I'm saying is that Biden has a big job ahead of him with any number of issues, but one of the biggest issues is trying to bring this country back no, together. I, I don't think he's up to it, and well, I'll tell you see. why. Because whenever he's challenged, he calls uh, people uh, ugly or, uh, uh, you know, he had a bunch of uh, names. Well, I haven't for, heard him doing that. I haven't heard him doing well, that. During his, uh, during his rally, I guess some people were weeping porn. I, I, I don't remember. That. But anyway, let's all water under the bridge. I hope he's up to it. I think we need somebody who can, you know, do something about it. So, well, and you know, we'll see. It it's uh, yep. this is this is a low day in, uh, in in the United States. It really is. And you know, the last time that anyone had attacked the Capitol was 1954. The Puerto Ricans uh, uh, shot it up, and there's still bullet holes in some of the furniture yep. and on, yep. on the third floor where uh, Puerto Ricans tr uh, stormed the Capitol. But and then, don't forget, the Canadians burned it down. So uh, yeah, The Capitol or the White House? It was the Capitol. Oh, well, I who burned the White House? The English? Was it, was it the White House they burned down? I can't remember. I thought they, I thought, well, who knows? Who cares? Who cares? Everybody's trying to burn the place down. Anyway, uh, time to remodel. Anyway, yeah, thank well, you, thank you, Phil. I just wanted to get your opinion on it so that when we get into our liberal rants here, uh, at least the other side uh, will be heard from. And I, you know, I hey, thank you. I thanks. thank you for joining us. Okay, ladies and uh, gentlemen, that's Phil Meyer. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you don't know who that is, and uh, we thank him for for doing this because. Uh, it, it's just, it's good. It's nice. It's wonderful. Well, listen, it's time for me now to start admitting some people, but there are only two people there. I'm amazed because I would think there would just be dozens of people who would want to come on tonight and uh, talk about this situation. 
Uh, but uh, all I got right now here is uh, Alan and Charlie Wallace. Okay, there they are. Hello, Alan. Hello, Charlie. How are Hello, you? Hello, Alex. Hello, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. <clears throat> uh, first of all, Ch Charlie, what did you think? I thought they were a bunch of thugs breaking into the Capitol, and they should all been arrested, if not shot. Absolutely. Were you asking yourself, as I think all America was asking themselves, that we knew that this was a, uh, a, 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 a rather, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, a day in which this kind of thing could happen? We were fully expecting this. We, yeah, that's everybody, why I can't in, everybody in America was fully expecting this, except for the D.C. Uh, for the yeah, Capitol. Yeah, why weren't cops. they ready? Yeah, why weren't they ready for this? After what happened in Michigan at the legislature with those armed thugs cha uh, charging that building, how, how could they not expect this? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, th there are a lot of questions to be answered about what the fuck went on, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, hello, Scott. How you doing? Hey, what are you thinking about this? Well, I really think that the D.C. police thought that maybe 100 people would show up like a normal Trump rally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, how about you, Robert? How, what was your reaction, to, your initial oh, reaction to this today? Please, you know, you need to do an interview with me by myself just to catch up to all the shit I just heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard Thanks such bullshit in all my life. <laughs> Thank what? you. Okay, just carve out one I'll piece. I'll give you some brief points. Okay. I'll give you some brief points. Okay. If the Black Lives Matter demonstrations yeah. had broken into the Capitol, yeah. how many black people do you figure would be dead right now? Yep. Well, one Let's of them would... start at 50 and work upwards. Well, uh, I... I would agree uh, uh well I, I don't know if i 100 percent agree because we live in a time where they'd be a little more careful of what they did okay uh, uh yeah, alan would, notice would, the uh, description uh, notice the description uh, mm -hmm. george floyd was yeah. killed by all accounts he was killed he was murdered trying here, good. and people protested that they were called rioters the people today in Phil's description were protesters. Notice how we control the messaging. Yep. Rioters, protesters. You well, now today we were calling them rioters. On TV, but that isn't what Phil just described. Yeah. He oh. talked about them being <clears throat> independently angry people. Notice, too, that Phil at no point pointed to Trump for having stirred up these motherfuckers at no point. <laughs> uh, you know. Come on. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, no, I agree with you, you know, um, in that respect. But, I mean, what I said was that they were incited by Trump. Yep. I mean, mm -hmm. I heard the incitement. You know, I watched the speech, and he's going, okay, now march down Pennsylvania Avenue, and the Capitol's right down there, and go do your stuff. Do what you got to do. Do it strongly. Do it strongly. Do it strongly. Do it strongly. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, for him, to begin with, he should be prosecuted for that. Oh, yes. absolutely. I mean, he created absolutely. a riot. And there are people within his own party and Pence who are thinking about invoking the 25th Amendment. They just don't yes. want to even see him have another day in office because they and don't think the he's way, capable. Phil making it seem like it's Congress's job to conduct an investigation is way off base and shows little or no understanding of how the Constitution works. Right. We're a federalist system. It's something Republicans hold dear. That mm -hmm. means that the states decide how voting takes place. And by the way, this Josh Hawley bastard who's yeah. making objections say that in Pennsylvania, there's no provision for mail-in voting. But lately, he says, there was a quickly passed provision to allow mail-in voting. What he fails to mention is that the public legislature in Pennsylvania is Republican. <laughs> yes. 
Well, you know, I mean, even in, in Georgia, uh, uh, Georgia, you've got a Republican governor, you've got a Republican secretary of state, and all these people were pretty much telling Trump, nothing we can do about it. it we did, we, I think they, they counted those ballots three times. Three right? times at least. Yes. You know. You know, I mean, if you want to organize a committee that looks into voting practices, I'm right there with I'm, Phil. I'm, I'm the first guy but, to sign on the dotted line, yeah. Yes, but let's also look into voter suppression of blacks. Let's also look into, like, suddenly cutting down the number of voting places in yeah. Houston, Texas. Yeah. Let's also look into proof of signatures only in the case of those that live in poor areas or heavily democratic areas. But I want to preface this by saying, this is not the time. This is a time to simply pro forma say, here are the votes. This man was elected president. Somebody the just, commission yeah. can take place yeah. later. Somebody described this as being like the Academy Awards ceremony in which Pence is the yeah. MC. And all he has to do is open the envelopes. Open the envelope. Yeah, and here's the winner. This uh, this particular function used to take, on average, how long do you think it would take when they did it? Oh, minutes. 30, oh, an hour and a half at the yeah, most. A 30, Jesus. 35 minutes, they say, was yeah, the longest minutes. one. Yeah. yeah. That's including coffee. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right. this is, this is simply a ceremonial uh, thing. Yes, Ray. What, what really, really gets me is 79 of the congressmen in the House still voted to stop the election in Arizona after all that today. 79 yeah. of these people. Yeah. Well, How? That's just incredible. Well, that was then. That, that may not be now. Uh, no, it is. They no, did. That was the vote. That was yeah. now. Just now. Oh, just now? They did? I yes. guess I'm not watching yeah. it. Yeah. By the way, if I can have the floor, just one more more minute i'm the old history teacher here mm -hmm. and it's time for a history lesson okay. you want to talk about voting practices does anyone here know does anyone here know why georgia does the runoff the runoff election you know how in georgia there's an election and then they pick the top two vote getters mm -hmm. and then have a runoff election yeah. well if you don't i can teach you it was done by georgia Georgia white segregationists, and here's why. Because in Georgia, there were elections, election, 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 is eight candidates, and the white vote would split among the white candidates, but the blacks would coalesce behind the one black candidate. They were scared shitless that the black candidate would win the election by getting something like 18% of the vote mm -hmm. while the other white candidates got like 12, 13, 4, okay, yeah, 6, yeah. 3. So yeah. what they decided was to invent the system where the top two vote getters would now have a runoff so that all the white bastards could get together and vote against the black, the black guy. guy. Yeah. yeah, That's where it came from. Mm -hmm. You want to have an investigation about voting practices, yeah. Phil? Let's start with that. Uh, Alan, you had your hand up. Excuse me. So I agree with Charlie and I agree with Robert on this. This was not a protest. I've been in riots myself as a police officer, mm -hmm. and this was not a protest. This was a riot incited by the president of the United States. And uh, I mean, it's, it, he can't call it fake news because it's all over the media. You know, and and I agree with I think Robert said that if it was Black Lives Matter that was in there, there would have been a lot more people if they were black that that were shot, not accidentally. This lady was not shot by an unintentional discharge. I don't buy that. I, I haven't heard what happened. Uh, you guys have told me more than I knew. But, uh, you know, uh, people learn when you're pointing a gun at somebody, a pistol that you keep your finger off the trigger. That's what we're taught until you you have a shootable target. And so yeah. unintentional discharges usually happen, I mean, under stress. Sometimes when a police officer's had to fight somebody, um, 
sometimes he shoots himself pulling the holster, pulling out of the holster. But I don't buy that this was unintentional. And I got to tell you, I think that the DC police, like like Robert said, mm -hmm. should have been way way more prepared. Yeah. Way more. That's Alan, my thing. If if you had to shoot somebody, okay, you only have one shot at it usually, right? With a pistol. And where are you going to shoot the person? Right in the heart? Well, if I have the one shot and they're doing something that, that endangers my life or the life of somebody else, mm -hmm. I'm going to try for a brain shot and end it all. This this can. wounding or whatever. I mean, a, a lot of a lot of a lot of police officers shoot for center mass. I'm yeah. a big guy. I'm not hard to find, but shooting for a head. If if you can do that, if yeah. if it's if it justifies deadly force, you take the person out of the picture as quick as possible. Well, this this lady was shot right here. Neck. I chest. can't see where right she was here. Shot in the is. neck. Oh, she was shot, she in, the was neck. shot in the yes. chest. Okay. Well, well it was like right right has been saying in the chest all day. <clears throat> what? The CNN has been saying she was shot in the yeah, chest shot in the all chest. day. She's been saying that. Yeah, I, I, I saw I the picture of her. I saw the video. It was. Did you see her? Yeah, so she had yeah. a big thing in her neck right here. Yeah. So, yeah, so right Bill could be right. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't I matter. I, I, it doesn't matter. She's yeah. shot. She's dead. She uh, dead. In the neck. <laughs> And the neck, you're going to bleed out real quick. I mean, it's, you know, you got the carotid arteries, <clears throat> and uh, it's going to be a quick death, unfortunately. But and and any death is sad. But we don't know what she was doing, do we? That, that heard, got the officer oh, to shoot her. Right. I had heard one thing, and I don't know if it's sure, true that, that there the were some people had, trying to go. Somebody over was breaking the, in the windows yeah, from outside, yeah. and a couple guys had their guns drawn, ready for that person to try to jump in. Yeah, and I think. She, so, she was close. Oh, wow. Just add this to the blood of 350 plus thousand Americans dead of yeah. COVID that could have been prevented, at least I in large measure. I agree with you. I agree, Robert, Just 100%. throw it on the pile. I agree 100% with you, Robert. At least 200,000 of those could have been saved. Oh, absolutely, Ray. Oh, yeah. Hmm. They ought to arrest Trump when he gets out of office and charge him with crimes against humanities. There is no Humanity. bottom to this fucking guy. I mean, we heard, no we heard we we heard the tape that that he made with the what's his name from Watergate. With the, the early on in January, we heard the yeah. tape that he knew how bad it was. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Who's going to pardon him now, though? He threw Pence okay. under the bus. Yeah, he threw Pence under the bus. Who's going to pardon him now? <laughs> yeah, that was stupid. Uh, it's, uh, it's I appreciate what you just said there. Brian, it says that you love me and I'm very special on your in your I love that. Trump, <clears throat> Trump said that today to his people. So he I did? just want, oh. yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I want to they, spread the love. Yeah. That's why Twitter you deleted. We call them patriots. Yeah. Uh, Twitter yeah. deleted. This was after awesome. they broke into the Capitol. Well, well, you you did patriots. hear you did hear that uh, after today, uh, both Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook <laughs> have canceled Finally. Donald Trump's accounts. Yeah. Finally, yeah, and they yeah, deleted the two insightful tweets right like pretty quickly, like within an Anna hour. Ivanka's. And Ivanka's. Yeah. Ivanka said that that they should stop this right away, and she deleted her own. Yeah, really. But 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 uh, what his son is saying now? It's the party of Trump. It's no longer the Republican Party. Oh, That's yeah. funny. The Republicans. Donald think Jr. Different. is saying it. And you know you know what's saddest to me of all is that. He, it's all caused, all this is caused by the fact that this man is so psychologically damaged mm -hmm. that he can't reckon with the words, I lost. Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. It really comes down to that. What's it would psychologically is, devastate him. He's what's, what's psychologically sad is so insecure that he can't reckon well, uh, with the words, I lost lost I, well, it's I, like daddy's even, in the room i've said what's this even so, sadder I, is that he's psychologically damaged and he's psychologically damaging even more psychologically damaged people yes Kevin. because yeah. he's yeah. he has psychologically brainwashed a lot of people that are psychologically damaged and that are psychologically dangerous right yes now. yes, yes yeah. Kevin. Yeah. 
And that's what, what Romney said. Romney said today happened due to a selfish man's injured pride. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. That was a great speech, by the way, that Romney gave. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was funny. And he you was know, right. I'm tired of all these all these Republicans up there all of a sudden turning the other cheek. Well, yeah. I, I got to oh, tell you. No. Oh, no, I, he's a bad guy. I got to tell you. That's a bunch Romney, of old stuff now. Romney, Romney, Romney threw his – Lindsey Graham. Hold on a second. A Romney – That's Romney, why I'm an in, yeah. independent. Romney threw all of this. Because I don't attach myself to these fuckers. Romney through all of this uh, has yeah. been, I think, fairly righteous. You know, yeah. I mean, there are times he's sided with Trump and so on, sided with the Republicans – um, like he did with the appointment of the Supreme Court justice. Uh, but nevertheless, I mean, he has been upset by this. I mean, he's, you know, he's a righteous Mormon. You know, he doesn't like dishonesty, and he doesn't like corruption, and he doesn't like, he doesn't like the fact, I imagine, that Donald Trump cheats on his wives, you know. Um, but he, he has wives in but, his but, apartment, but, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they ain't yeah. cheating if you got eight of them. <laughs> I don't well, think. I don't pussy, think uh, the Mormon Church does not allow polygamy any longer. Not no, not officially. No, no. not officially. Yeah. Yeah. Not officially. Yeah, right, right. Uh, yes, uh, Charlie. Yeah, Romney also said something else that's very true that all of these Republicans in the Senate and House are ignoring, and that is the fact. It doesn't matter if you have this stupid commission yeah. because they aren't going to believe what the commission says unless they said that the election was stolen. That's yeah. right. They ain't going to believe it anyway. Yeah, they'll come out after 10 days or two weeks or 10 years and say the election was not stolen. It was above board, and they won't believe it. Well, the Lindsey Graham great. pointed that out. Lindsey Graham said that tonight. He was he right, even though Another he's a complete code, asshole. Yeah. Yeah, he was Another totally right code. when he, he did say that. And tonight, me. tonight for the first time, I mean, I actually heard a speech by uh, 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 Mitch McTur uh, McTurtle, yeah. uh, 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 where I said, "Good for you, Mitch. That's okay. You know, that's fine." But it's a little late, isn't it, Mitch? You should have been saying this weeks yeah. ago, months Welcome ago, there. years ago. Yes, uh, Alan. So if it, they're talking about invoking the Twenty Fifth Amendment. If they invoke the 25th Amendment and it holds, can Trump run again in 2024? I don't know. Can yeah, I, I believe he can. They have yeah, to impeach him. Because, to, because, they because they what they can say is the only what all, all the 25th Amendment says if the president should become incapacitated, yeah. whether it's mentally or physically or anything. Could have a heart attack. Yeah, they can invoke right, the right. 25th Amendment. The now, let's say, let's say he gets a heart attack, okay? And they have to invoke the 25th Amendment. And so now he's out of office, and because the new election is a new president's coming in, he's not going to be president any longer. By the time he runs again, he may not have the heart problem any longer, or it's being taken care of. I, and, okay, you know. okay. So I get it. If, if, he, if you get him out of office because he is not mentally competent to be president now, that doesn't mean that he didn't go to several shrinks in the meantime and can run again. Sure. But, he's got to, but he's got to get a shrink to get him out right now doesn't it that's going to take at least a week yeah yeah <laughs> yeah well you know the House and senate have to vote against they're so desperate right yeah. now not only democrats republicans as well to get him out of office they're seriously talking about this and we only got how many days till the inauguration a week. 14 14? A week. Yeah, a week. 14 they want week to get him out before most. then because they figure well, weeks, off. Yeah. you know what the hell can he screw up in 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 two weeks and he's the, still got the code the he, he will lie. try he will code he will not give up he's got more up his sleeve i guarantee yeah you he's got more shit I going on yeah in nixon's he may have day a private army out there ready to attack. Oh, yeah. just make a fake twitter account and start it up again in nixon's day there were a group of prominent Rep nixon didn't want to pull the plug but there were a group of prominent republicans that finally went to him and said it's time You've got to go. Yeah. There ain't that guy right now. You know, like there ain't nobody that Trump would listen to if they went to him and said, Your time is up. It's time to move along. There They're ain't that guy. They're all resigning. Putin. They're all resigning. Oh, they, by the way, yes, a bunch of them are resigning tonight, would want, including Elizabeth. Is it Elizabeth Cho, who is uh, 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 Mitch, 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 Mitch McTurtle's wife? Yeah, he uh, the no chin. Yeah, uh, she uh, quit tonight as the what the secretary of transportation. 
Yeah. 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 You would and, think and, you would think that Trump would want Pence to take power and pardon him in these last two weeks. You would think. I'm I'm beginning to think that move. I'm beginning to think Pence would. But I do don't it. think I don't think he'll step aside. I think to him that shows failure. Well, yeah. what's he going to do think, about the ensuing legal actions against Pence? Him? Might tell him kiss my ass. Yeah, I agree, Robert. That would be a great move. What about on the nineteenth. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. This you is... know, it was Pence that called in an angel guard, not Trump. Yes. Yes. Trump would not do it. Uh, yeah, yes. for, originally it said Trump had done it, that the White House had done it, and then it turned out it was Pence. Yeah. Pence did it. I mean, uh, I don't think they didn't need the National Guard, did they? By the time the National Guard got there, it was pretty well right. over but with. But the Flash's Bible, he brought out the fucking uh, D-Day invasion in order to, you know, spread tear gas so yeah. that he could stand in front of the church. Yeah. Yeah. This is exactly what Trump wanted to happen. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Trump was probably get, cackling with glee over all of it. Well, I mean, but he, he, he has no that, uh, he has no guilt about it. He doesn't care. You know, to me, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. The number one job of an American president, number one job, is to protect the American public. Yeah. Yes. And in this case, he put them in danger. You know, he was not protecting them. And he was getting them to do his bidding for his own personal ego. Yeah, you know. Yeah, they said that he was sitting in his office. There were reports coming from the his office saying that he was gloating the fact that there was flags outside his office. Look at them; they're coming in. They're they're supporting me. Look at them; they, they got me. my hats on. They got my shirts on. Yeah, they got the flag. Look at them; they're supporting me. That's a sick like, gloating in it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You know, I'll tell you. And I was telling Alex this. Maybe I, I think I was telling you this earlier. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch much of this on the tube. I was driving most of the day, but I listened to it on the radio, and I started listening to his his speech this morning. And mm-hmm. not seeing this going on, but listening to it on the radio. <clears throat> Excuse me. Listening to it on the radio without the visuals, it brought me back to Hitler tapes and listening to his speech yep. and what he was saying and then I heard him say, let's walk up the street and let's do this. And, I, and I'm driving along, trying to stay in the lane, going, <laughs> driving through San Jose, going, he's not going to walk up there and lead these people up there, is he? I'm going, <laughs> holy crap. And so I got up to my mom's place and I had to take her to the hospital. It was, about, uh, it was probably about 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning out here. And I thought, what the hell's going to happen here in the next couple hours? So I took her to the hospital and all this, and I didn't know what the hell was going on. And I got done with her, and I drove out of the the the, uh, the garage there, and I finally got service on my on my phone, and I mm-hmm. turned on the radio, and all I hear is you know CNN saying you know the Capitol's being breached, and you know That's everybody's right. loaded. I'm going holy crap! I pulled over, loaded CNN and everything else on the on the phone, and you know I just I just went back to thinking, this is Hitler shit. He led yeah. a bunch of people. I heard them. You know, fight for Trump, fight for Trump, fight for Trump. All these chants going on and everything else. And I'm going, this is surreal listening to this shit. And then coming out two hours later and hearing that the Capitol was, you know, I almost cried listening to this shit. Yeah, I did too. And it was insane. Been watching it. It, yeah, it and is. Then watching a, it, it afterwards yeah. going, this, this is not real. And then, yeah. you know, I was texting with John, uh, Josh too. And, and he told me that they were actually trying to get up to the roof to tear down the American flag to put up a Trump flag. Yeah. Yeah. But they couldn't figure out their way up there. And I said, this is, you know, this isn't, this is insane. You know, what the hell? And then they start talking about, um, I had, I had CNN on my phone watching that and I'm listening to Fox on the radio. So I'm (laughs) driving down the street. Ouch. What, a, what a crazy, yeah, driving down the street, right? That's dangerous. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I wasn't really watching. Was it, it an 18 wheeler? Not only that, it's confusing. <laughs> Jeff, but, what, 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 what did you think about it when you were sit watching it today? But, yeah, okay. Jeff? Jeff, can you hear me? Jeff? Yeah, Hi, Jeff, can you hear me? Jeff. Can Jeff hear me? Turn your mic on, Jeff. Mic is off. He was talking to his wife. Jeff, can you hear, hear me? This. 
Yes, I can. Uh, okay, I want to get your opinion on what was going on today. What was your take on it? Well, I was, I kind of turned on the radio at around 1030, and oh, I understand what's going on, that part of the people in the Senate are starting to walk to the one side, and, and then the other people at the other side, and nothing's going on that's very interesting. And all of a sudden, these people are walking inside. And they're just like walking all over the place. By the, by the way, good news on this whole thing today. Definitely a super spreader event. Yeah. 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 That's a plus. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, this, you know, and I said, this Darwinism. is Trump 100%. Huh? I said, this is Trump hundred percent. Oh yeah, no, he off. he initiated. He was the somebody yeah. said he lit the fuse. Yeah, Best absolutely. way to describe oh, yeah. it. He poured gas on the fire. He, yeah. He, yeah. Well, that that the, he, uh, he brought the fuse. He's he been kindling this for months. At uh, Georgia the other night, he mm -hmm. started the flame, and this morning he set it on a hundred percent. I couldn't well, believe that. The problem is if one. you if you listen to his speeches, and I've done that. I listened to his last five or six speeches. And they've all been almost identical. Yep. Every single word. It's like a show for him. Yeah. He's gone to every one of his last five speeches have almost been identical. But the last you know, hour they and a say, half they been say identical. He's pounding this shit into people's heads. And they, they they took it all today and he went, Okay, now we're gonna do it. By the way, they, 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 they a lot there. of people are blaming this loss in Georgia on Trump. Oh yeah. it was oh, political sure. malpractice Absolutely. on his part. It really was. It was yep. political malpractice. If I'm a, a true Republican, mm -hmm. I got to point at Trump and say, you fucked up. Yeah. yeah. You lost Big us Trump. control yeah. of the Senate, you asshole. Big I heard Trump. one I heard one of the pundits today say that he may have been trying to get them to lose because he couldn't stand being the only one who would lose in Georgia. It could very well be. <laughs> it could very well be, too. Yeah. Wow. It's the way he works. Well, I got to hand it to Leffler. She lost. She goes in there and she was going to protest against uh, the vote, and she t pulled pulled back Hold her protest. Her. Okay. Her. Uh, I can't what, stand that woman. Either. I know I can't stand that woman either. Um, that was so just. But nevertheless, Jordan. I had to go. Hey, you know, that's that's classy. You know. BFD. That that's just that wasn't classy at all. I don't think it was classy at all. She'd done this shit the whole time. And now she's going to play games. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. Well, say yeah. it was terrible two days ago. Hey, listen, that was a very close race down in yeah. Georgia. Yeah. Very, very, yeah. very close. Um, uh, I almost felt that uh, was worried that uh, one of them was going to go into it. Could have said it last night then. Hmm? What? She could have said it last night. Said I wasn't going to object to it last night when she lost. Yeah. Oh. She said she was going to find a way to win last night. Oh, yeah. did she? Really? Yep. Nate yeah. Silver had them both predicted, by the way, within yep. a tenth of a percentage point. Uh -huh. Yeah, they, they he, said it was, he was on. Right in. He was on target. And it was. Well, uh, no, it wasn't tenth of a percentage point. It was, uh, I no, think. Wait, he, no, no, Silver, no. no. Nate, Nate, his Nate's prediction, prediction was about at a tenth of a percentage point of what finished up. Uh -huh. He oh, was oh, right I see. on. Okay. All right. His yeah. prediction. Yeah. I think I had the feeling they were going to win because I think uh, let's let's uh, let's give a lot of credit to Stacey Abrams. Oh, and how? You know, she gets a plum. She went in there and she literally was walking people to the polls. I mean, yeah. she just you know, she well, they just all did. Yeah, they did a lot of work down there just knocking on doors. And this Which... was very very close and is unheard of. In Georgia, I think they've had maybe a, a you know a Democratic senator, but I don't think they ever had a route like this, you know. Not in recent times. Which leaves you know us, which today? leaves Al, us with Al Sharpton. Uh, Al Sharpton said, "Good job, Trump. You went down and campaigned. You pissed and moaned about yourself, and you know what you ended up with? You ended up with a black guy and a Jew." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, you know, it's funny. I was watching this documentary on on Rupert Murdoch, and the very last thing they run in the documentary to show the power of Fox, okay, is it's Fox and Friends, and it's early in the morning, and it's still dark outside. It's like in the winter, and they're doing their program, and they say, "Oh, look, there's a shot of the White House, and see that corner window with the lights on? That's Trump's bedroom." Okay. And it said, uh, uh, Mr. President, if you're listening to us or watching us right now, turn the light on and off. And oh the next God. thing you see is the light goes on and off at the White House. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, I uh, saw it, that. So funny. I think we both were pissing our pants after watching. I, I, I think in Georgia, the black vote counted more than ever before. Yep. I think that the blacks got out there and voted. Absolutely, and voted the uh, uh, you know just overwhelmingly uh, and 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 turned the tide. Yeah, yeah. Well, effectively, what what won was Trump lost. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. agree there too. Well, yes, Trump lost, but uh, they had to go out and do a lot more uh, campaigning. To get the vote out. Otherwise, they, if they just left it like it was during the original election where Trump lost, uh, I don't think it would have had this turnout like this. But well, Stacey had, Abrams they also had a, an overwhelming amount of new voters too. Yeah, and well, I think the, that, the younger voters. But that's because of Stacey Abrams. Yeah, you know she was know. she was just out like there in she, California. Yeah. And uh, she should get a prize for this. Like I oh, don't she'll know, she'll get a plum. Secretary of something. <laughs> Yeah. Did you hear Trump at the during the Georgia speech? He was just trashing her. Oh yeah, she's corrupt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you he know, knew, he knew what she was doing. She, he knew it was a trouble. You know. Yeah. Well, um, um, what was I going to say? Um, oh boy. Hmm. It, it you get me. to my age, you get real forgetful. It'll come back. <laughs> what do you mean your age? What do you mean? I, if I get younger, I'll, I'll get more forgetful. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yes, um, don't forget you're it, old. No, but I mean it's just you know the it 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 was a matter of the, of Trump literally screwing over that election, you know. Absolutely. And I'm so happy now that we have the Senate as well. I don't like both houses to be the same yeah, flavor, but uh, but in this day and age with the divisiveness and the way the Republicans are voting, I say fuck them. We take all the marbles and we run that we run the world for a while. Just don't John, screw it up. John oh, yeah. Heilman made a great point on TV this morning. Yeah. He was saying that a lot of people generally prefer the White House one party, the Congress of different parties, so that there's some check and balance involved. They, he said, but in this day and age, what with the pandemic and the need for urgent action, mm -hmm. a lot of people might have jumped over and said, you know, we need one party to be in charge, right, wrong, or indifferent. At least something will get done. We might not agree with it, but at least some action will take place. Yeah, but do you think and you would have said the same thing? To would, it. Would, you, would you think they would have said the same thing if Trump was president? I don't think Trump, Trump never did anything, okay? What did he do? You know, except, I mean, some things that irreversibly hurt the country but what did, half what, a wall. what did he do he built half a wall he built half the wall he didn't build oh, that he much not even no, no, yeah. about one percent of the wall he, he he go far the roads. i mean he was taking credit for part of the wall that was already there yeah. he hasn't built any wall i heard okay uh um, i mean that's what i heard but it's all like smoking right. well i like the part of it that fell down that was fun, yeah. over, yeah, you know. Uh, but I mean, Trump's in. I think what Trump is panicked about is he's in for a whole mess of of hurt. Now, I mean, there are going to be more suits being filed against him. He's going to he's going to wind up going bankrupt. He's going to wind up having to sell Trump Tower. I mean, it's all going to be downhill from there because the only thing that has shielded his life at this point was being president. They couldn't touch him. But they can now, you know, and he realizes that. And the longer he could stay in office, the longer he could put off the creditors and everything else. I think Trump is going to be 
found guilty of a lot of these charges and they're gonna have trouble finding him and he'll, they'll probably find him in the caddy shack at his golf course. And they're probably gonna find him in Lithuania or someplace like that. Where's where's she Russia. from? Where's she from? Russia. Well, no, but she's not Slovenia. from Russia. So where where is she from? Slovenia. Slovenia. They yeah, moved to Slovenia. You know. <clears throat> Open up a golf course there, or at least a putt putt golf course. I didn't. Yeah. Didn't uh, Scotland didn't want them, right? Aren't they doing a golf <laughs> course or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Scotland yeah. said don't come. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 but he already has. He already has a, a, a golf no, course. No, they didn't want him physically to go over there. Can't go. Can't oh go. well, they don't want him being down at the Mar-a-Lago. Right. They said you yeah. you can't use this as a residence. They said you could only use it for thirty days as a resident over a year. So okay. So he voted illegally. So, you know, right. so uh, you can't come to Mar-a-Lago. Uh, and uh, he, uh, he's, he's, he's in for just a world of hurt. Uh, and he's going to be amazed at how fast people forget him. They won't forget the, the bad things he did, but they'll forget him. All these people that were out there marching today, two years from now, they'll find another person to march behind. Yeah. Holy. Probably the guy will have to look a lot like Hitler. But, uh, you know... They will follow somebody else, but he's dead in the water. They're, they're through with him. You know, this was their remember, last remember hurrah. Remember what happened with Nixon? He was dead. Yeah. And then he yeah. became president. I mean, you can have people protest like crazy, and, and it doesn't matter the day after, you know? Well, uh, they need to clean up all the people that were following them, too, like Cruz and all them other... Well, this is what I was going to ask, okay? Because we have two people from Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll blame them right now for Ted Cruz, okay? Uh, and let them defend themselves. <laughs> I never voted for him. What a weasel. What yeah. a weasel. I mean, a terrible, terrible person. That speech he gave today, my God. It was so, I, it was so horrible that the other senators were quoting him. You and they got it I for think their dog time. shit is worth more than, than than Ted Cruz right now. Well, here's the funny part about Ted Cruz. What did Trump have to say about Ted Cruz's father? Yep, that he, he killed Kennedy. Kennedy. That he yep. killed Kennedy. Yeah. That he was in what on the did Kennedy Ted Cruz assassination. Had to say about Trump in 2016. My and God, and this guy is such a tape. this guy is such a whore. That he was out there defending Trump. He was one of Trump's big... Def he was going to yeah. go to the Supreme Court and be his lawyer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Everyone knows the cigarette smoking man killed Kennedy. Exactly. exactly. Come on. <laughs> but, I mean, I just it's just amazing. Just amazing. You know? MSNBC's got a crawl currently that says... <laughs> Uh, more Trump officials consider resigning, and we're waiting yeah. for what exactly? Well, no, but it's funny that <laughs> they're, look, look, it's funny that they're <laughs> deciding to resign because there are quite a few of them, including, as I said, uh, Elizabeth Cho, who's uh, uh, McTurtle's uh, uh, wife, and uh, there were a bunch of people in the uh, in the press office who are quitting, and, be and they were quitting because of this. What today. happened today? Yeah. You know, they could wait until he's no longer there. It's just a couple of weeks, all right? And then they haven't got they know they haven't got a job, right? But they're quitting now to make a statement like we don't we're not we don't want any part of this, you know. And they're jumping ship like crazy, so they're not gonna be held culpable for this. Um I watched I watched Newsmax today. Oh yeah. Spicer Spicer and Company. He looks really tall on TV. Wow. Really? Yeah, he looks all. Uh, yeah, uh, they're, they're, they're criticizing it too, so at least they're not. Well, I don't know if they were criticizing it that much, and then I heard them say that two people got killed or got shot, mm. and it was only I one. I was hearing four too. So a friend texted four? me saying four. Yeah. Here's the, the here's the terrible part about Newsmax. They're beating Fox. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, oh. And and I watch Fox now, and it's kind of like I'm going, where's all that bite they used to have? Yeah, it's moderate. Yeah, it's <laughs> moderate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, today they had they had a bunch of Republican senators on who were coming on to say what Trump has done is horrible, and I just sent them a note saying you've got to you know put out a tweet saying stop it. Well, he put out a tweet, but it just said you know like don't 
don't don't uh, destroy his property or don't go after the cops or whatever because they're on our side. Uh, but it wasn't. I it was it, it. At no point was there that overwhelming. Uh, hey guys, stop this! This isn't what I wanted you to do. Oh, he okay. said we Basically. got cheated. We got cheated, but stop. Go home. Well, it's like I was yeah. telling Phil. Bullshit. I was telling Phil. He said, "Well, you know, there are all these people that he was taking the tack that Cruz does. There are these millions of people who felt that their vote was taken away from them. Blah 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 blah." And I said. Why do they feel that way, Phil? The only reason they feel that way is because Trump told them that. Right. If Trump had said, hey, Biden, good race, you beat me fair and square, see you all at the golf course, okay? They wouldn't be out there demonstrating. Nobody would be saying it was, uh, it was robbed from him, you know? By the same token, Trump should have said, let's all wear masks, and it would have been different. Yeah, yeah. 100,000 people would be alive. And the, that yeah. was the simplest thing of any yeah. of the things he had to do. Yep. So easy. It, 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 all he had to do was wear a mask. It all he had to do was say, this is what's mm -hmm. going to prevent this. That's all he had to do. I don't know why he didn't. But he, <laughs> he, he had this, this egomaniacal idea that COVID was invented to get him. <laughs> really? He felt that the, the whole conspiracy was, uh, you know, it was all a conspiracy. <coughs> you know, if they if they didn't test, we wouldn't have COVID, right? Yes, Ray. I, so I don't understand how these other politicians were willing to risk their health, including people like Chris Christie, to not wear a mask because he's not wearing a mask. I, if if uh, Biden didn't wear Chris a mask, Christie said he, that he made the big mistake, and I, I yeah. and I admire Chris Christie for his honesty in this. He said the reason I didn't wear a mask at that Rose Garden event is I felt that we were safe there, that the the powers that be were doing everything possible to prevent us from being exposed to the virus. But everybody I was, was tested. Everybody was tested and yeah. so on, and that it was a safe place to be. He said, otherwise, I would have worn a mask. Yeah, I heard him yeah. say and, yeah. and he said, I was wrong to assume that. Well, he's a real bad example, but, I mean, all the other Republican people, like even today, there were, it, before the riots started, a lot of the Republicans weren't wearing them, and Pelosi yeah. had to ask them several times to yes. put their masks on. Oh, yeah. Who was, wow. There was one guy talking for a while, and his mask kept falling. And oh, she my had gosh. Kept oh, telling oh, yeah. them they, it was the rule, and they wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't see that, but it, it's I, I true. Did. I mean, the one where the guy, ma the guy's yeah. mask kept falling, Brian. I think that yeah. guy was that was actually his jock strap. So, so be <laughs> before the hearing started, she had to, she had to ask them several times. I heard it on the radio. I was listening. Yeah. Please, Republic people on that side of the aisle, please put on your mask. It's a rule. Oh, really? Yep. And then another guy c came up and said, "Well, how are we supposed to object to this if we're put in the other room?" Like. Yeah, hey, wait just... a minute. Look, all we're asking you to do is wear a mask, okay? What's the and, biggie? And regarding the wall, I looked it up. So 15 miles of new wall has been built. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Thank 2, you. Thank you. And, 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 and a lot Mexico. of other have been repaired. But he signed yeah. some of it. So ABC just announced that four people were killed today, all yeah, Republicans. That, that's, that's the Associated Press was just saying. That's the friend, friend who watches really? the show. Was saying that, wow. yeah. What? Yeah. Really? They said, yeah, one person, and then they said three. Uh, well, Associated Press: four people died. One uh, man was shot by a Capitol Police. The other three died from medical emergency. I don't know what the medical emergency, but uh, yeah. let's see so here. they are saying that other stuff is going on. Well, so far it hasn't made it to. Well, to it hasn't made it to Drudge yet, but they say that there's it's on a, ABC. That, yeah, Associated Press. And Associated Press, yep. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. AP. Okay. They're all Thank Republicans. You, friend, no big deal. My friend Charles. No. My friend Charles on there. I didn't want Apple. I said AP. <laughs> dot com. Apple. <laughs> Apple Press. Let me see here. Uh, audio Precision. Apple oh, News. Here we go. Well, let's just yeah. go Associated Press. You know, I have CNN where they do the you know the the, the notifications. And this before today it was pretty quiet for like a week or two. Yeah. Every day no usually Trump something. It was nice and quiet for a while until today it was blowing up. No, no, no. I was in the meeting. And I kept 
Yeah, it doesn't say anything in Associated Press here on online. Alex, mm. did you put out a statement on behalf of Antifa today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I said I took a dump on uh, Holly's lawn. <laughs> Yeah, Holly, really think he got a chance running for president in 2024? Oh, yeah, he thinks he's hot stuff. <laughs> yeah. So here's NBC says four people killed. Really? Yeah. Uh, by NBC, who? And, uh, yeah. NBCWashington.com. Well, Vernon ABC, Null, Vernon ABC Null has... doesn't say killed, says died. Uh, Vernon oh, Null, Vernon four Null people has... people killed, it says NBC Washington. Yeah. Yeah. Vernon Null has joined us. Vernon, what, what's your take on the day? Not surprising. Uh, I, I'd like to join. I'd like to jump on the uh, Trump derangement syndrome train. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it is. Six months ago, if any of us had suggested that something like this would happen, we'd be accused of Trump derangement syndrome. Yep. Well, <laughs> it's happened. Yep. It, I, you know, I I felt that this was gonna something like this was going yeah. to happen. OK, uh, but I didn't know what it was going to be exactly. I was worried that it was going to be an international incident. I didn't realize it was going to be insurrection at home. Could Stay still tuned. Be. Yeah, still could be. Yeah. Oh, it's, he's, he's still he he's he's out bigger to, and better. He's out to get even with America. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. uh, and well, so. uh, I, I, I think people just don't want to have anything to do with that. OK, so. Let he is see. one evil person. Al's got his hand up. Okay, woman shot at Capitol dies. Trump supporters storm halls. Trump lawyer. Uh, this is all NBC. Just it, go it was yeah, NBC go. Washington. <laughs> NBCWashington.com. Oh, NBC. Right on the front page. NBCWashington.com. Yeah, three medical emergencies. One person, one woman shot by the police, and three medical emergencies. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they, oh, oh yeah. okay. So the, it, it doesn't they say. They realized they were Republicans. No, a I medical emergency. There was an SUV yeah. truck that crashed and four people died. Oh my! Oh, maybe what? that's it. Yeah, yeah, loved ones of four people who were killed after an SUV truck struck a utility pole gathered for vigils. What the fuck? Shit, <laughs> I'm looking in the wrong year. Sorry. <laughs> I don't see that was 2019. <laughs> Never mind. Pittsburgh. Hello. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Alan. Yeah, let's see. Alan. Yeah, okay. I, I, when I remember what I was going to say, I'll come oh, back. Oh, I see. To okay. You. It yeah. might be fake news. This is from the Libya uh, AFP. AFP in Libya. Uh -huh. Libya's government of national accord says at least four civilians, including a child, were killed when... What the fuck? Never mind. I give up. I'm not think... good as Phil at this. Yeah, I know. I Phil is usually the one to do that Phil kind of need him. Yeah. I read four people were killed. Where? Well, I don't know. It said so on AFP. <laughs> <laughs> Must be that wallpaper. Yeah, he's good. Uh, oh, by the way, how, how is Tony? Do we know? Well, Tony, Tony was uh, Tony was uh, <laughs> messaging me today on Facebook, and uh, his his mother is uh, uh, losing her people. mind oh, uh, and and driving him crazy. Uh, she keeps asking about I don't know her brother who's been dead for years. Oh, and, I guess you know oh, she's oh, gone oh. into um, what's what what is it when it's not uh, Alzheimer's it's uh, dementia dementia, dementia. Which, dementia. My, which my mother had. She's got dementia from the COVID. And the doctor really? says, well, it may go away in time, or it may not, and then suggested that they hospitalize, they put mom in a home, which I'm thinking that's a bad deal because then Tony hasn't got a job anymore. You know? Right. Um, he has to go back to the hat. I just, you know, it, he, he's, he hasn't gotten any sleep. He wishes if they want to help him, they would send somebody over to take care of her at nights. You know, and I feel so I feel horrible for him, you know, and he yeah. had it. He had the covid and his yeah. brother had the covid and his sister had the covid. Now, three of them, the mother, he and the brother all live in the same house. OK, but the sister is the one that came in and probably brought it. All right, because and they were kind of a, they were kind of by living at home. They were a bubble and she lived on the outside and was a teacher 
and got it from a student or something like that. And she got it. Went home, wasn't feeling well. And next thing you know, mom's got it. You know, so Jeez. I feel sorry for Tony. I really do. Yeah. You know, and I wish yeah. him the best. Uh, and there's nothing you can say. You know, this is a kind of thing that just gets people. And, uh, yeah. you know. I found out today that I'm going to get Covidian medication in Co a month. Covidian medication? <laughs> From the country of COVID? The Pfizer. Yeah. Well, uh, no. uh, I know they here in New York, we're in the 1B category, and they figure that Ooh. within about a month or so, yeah. we'll be eligible to get the uh, it's 90, 75 and over, so Marjorie can get it too and mm -hmm. not have. I'm supposed to be March or April. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next Sorry, week, I'm supposed I to go. I see on the news. I see on the news here. That uh, they found two pipe bombs at the Republican National yeah. Committee headquarters yeah. today, yeah. too. Yeah. Democratic Committee, too. Be, why? Oh, would, really? Why, okay. why would BNC these people too. put a bomb in the Republican headquarters? That's what I couldn't figure out. <laughs> they don't like that either. Trump I mean, is it, it, this is just, I just have to figure out maybe this is the gang that couldn't shoot straight. Did you see some of these people? Yeah, yeah, they look like they said they said it looked like uh, kids on a field trip, a high schoolers on a field trip. They're just like walking around in their rotunda and stuff. <laughs> Are you expecting smarts from those people that you saw? On that? <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of would back like to me a little. I would like to one believe. guy had that podium. Did you see the picture? The one yeah, guy, yeah, he's yeah. got like that podium yeah. walking by. I said that guy's through. Jeez, they they had they you know the guy with the makeup yeah. and the fur thing. Yeah. The horn. Yeah, they, they blasted him. They blasted him. They have his Facebook page and everything, and they've been they've been just putting it out there. Oh my God! He thought he was a Burning Man. <laughs> well, no, I saw I saw one guy who was standing on top of a of a jeep or something, with a flag, a Trump flag, and he was wearing yeah. a cape. Yeah. And I'm thinking, what is this? Uh, 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 super Trump or whatever? <laughs> you know, I. <laughs> Biden's up to 128 electoral votes. He's going to win. <laughs> he is. Wow. Watch out, so one guy with a Confederate flag, I think it was... And, and let's, let's, let's for a moment say one thing positive about uh, Pence. That he told Trump, he said, I'm not yeah. going to do anything about it. There is nothing I can do about nothing it. To do. It's not my job to do anything about it. And I can't. And so then he, of course, started blasting Pence like, you know, Pence a no good son of a bitch, whatever. Uh, but even Jeez. Pence Pence got to the point where he couldn't put up with it any longer, you know. And they all have their own reputations to have after this is over, over with. So that's why they're bailing out like crazy. And they should. Yeah, is Trump going to be busy tonight? Oh, he can't tweet tonight. That's right. No. He can't tweet McConnell. <laughs> he can't, he can't tweet. tweet. He can't tweet any of those guys. He can't oh, blast them. What's he going to do? He can't send emails to Facebook. everybody? He can't, Why can't he open Facebook a fake account? Jail. He, can't, he can't Instagram? He can't do any of that. They cut that. They, they turned off his YouTube account, too. Yeah, yeah, they turned off his... No, they turned off his YouTube as well? Yeah. I heard it was Facebook, I heard it was Facebook and Instagram, which is oh, I, both uh, Facebook and then uh, uh, Twitter. Well, don't believe me. Uh, I got everything uh, Vernon. My uh, suggestion for Mike Pence, if he wants to restore his reputation, is to invoke the 25th Amendment tonight. Mm -hmm. Mercy. Good luck. If he did that tonight, then Trump could be out of the White House tomorrow. Yep. Senate has to vote two-thirds. Two-thirds, yeah. yeah. That's a majority. Same thing for the House. It's got to be two thirds. Yep. Now, majority. Well, it was ninety-three to six, not to uphold the objection. So, what do you think they'll do? Hmm. Ugh. I can't see it. No, neither can I. I'm with Robert. No. no. Wow. At least he would make the effort, though. I I think they should Mike try Pence would make just the to effort. Have that I think his stain. stock, his political stock, would go up. All I know I is that what that. what happened what happened today was absolutely Trump's fault. And yeah. w what he caused was just un unconscionable, just unconscionable. And 
to you know he all for all for the betterment of his own ego. That's the problem. Yep. You his know, whole presidency's been that way. Well, yes, but this is taking it to the next step. Okay, and well, he it, risked the lives of all of those those, those rioters. I, I, I would bet that that the Secret Service is going to have extra people out when when um, Biden gets inaugurated, so nobody well, comes you up know, there with a rifle. It, what I would do if I were yeah. Biden, I would just have a simple inauguration indoors somewhere with some somebody giving the oath of office. I I just don't think they should do it outside. Mm -hmm. In the stands, you know, that whole thing. Because the stands are probably trashed anyway and have to be fixed before they can do it. And yeah. I, I just think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's mm -hmm. what, what can yeah. we say, you know? I mean, it, and, and because of the social distancing too, you know? Yeah. Well, they, they, they were accounting for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. They weren't going to they, invite they could, as many they people. Could do it, they could do it in the Oval Office, they could remove Trump mm -hmm. in handcuffs. And they could bring or, or just, just in and move swear it, them in. Move it to somewhere like just the, the, the Senate chamber. Hold it there. there you know, and, and, and basement we'll like a cheap wedding. But apparently, <laughs> apparently, you can't even make the Senate chamber safe. So you know, I, I know. mean, what the hell? You know, how about the Supreme Court? Since uh, Roberts will be the one doing the swearing in. Yeah, yeah. for the yeah. bunker. The yeah. White House bunker. Well, who was it? Uh, who was I'm trying to remember. They, the president, they had to, I think it was Obama, they had to do a second in, uh, in, uh, inauguration or something because they didn't get the... They just recited the words a second recited time the because words Robert wrong. screwed them up the first time. Uh, yeah, but who yeah. was who, who, <laughs> who, it? Who, who was that? Was it was it Obama? Obama. Yeah. yeah. His second yeah. term. I believe it was his second term one. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. did it. They did the inauguration. The next day, they went to Robert's chambers and they redid yeah. it because they redid he, he read the words all wrong. And, <laughs> and One job to do, huh? Is that true? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I never heard that. Yeah, yeah, yep. Oh wow. Yeah. So uh, I just found it. It actually is four dead. Sorry, I hate to say that. <laughs> But yeah, this, no, this, is a, this is an article that's 14 minutes long, old. Uh, old, yeah. 14 minutes 14 old, and minutes it's old. what? Where do you find it? NBC? Yeah, I'll look at it. Radio.com on MSN.com, and then also okay. uh, it's just on a bunch of small stations because it's so did new. They say, did they say what the medical emergencies were? Uh, no. Besides the see. car crash? Uh, <laughs> No, that was from 2019. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we'll get it right. We'll, we'll get it right before tomorrow night's show, folks. We'll figure out how many people we'll have it all worked out. Are ill. Yeah. Well, this has certainly been a uh, a day to remember, you know. And and for anybody who thought 2021 couldn't be as bad as 2020, stay tuned. Gotcha. You know, <laughs> stay tuned. It could That's get true. worse, at least from the next, uh, how many days do we have left now? Two weeks. Two weeks. What, what, what is it, a Wednesday or is it a Thursday? Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. The Wednesday the 20. Two weeks. Two weeks. He can destroy this entire at country. Noon. Yeah. I've got the nuclear noon. football. Yeah, he's got the nuclear football. Well, they're not going to hike it to him. I'll tell you that right now. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much. Thank you to Alan. Thank you to Charlie. And thank you to Jeff. And thank you to Scott. Always good to see Scott here. Robert, good to see you. Uh, of yeah. course, Kevin, good to have you here. Ray, wonderful. Uh, 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 Brian, good. And Vernon Nunn, we love seeing you whenever you show up. Everybody's waving. Anyway, everybody wave a goodbye, and I'll wave back at you, and we'll just finish it off here. Thank you. Bye. There they go. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, let me get rid of them unceremoniously here. And uh, uh, next is going to be Jack Bishop. He's going to be doing the intersection. He's going to be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. Uh, I'll be uh, back again tomorrow night right here. Yeah, right here. Same place, same time, same station in life. Uh, t what is it? Uh, 1030 Eastern Daylight Time or Standard Time. I'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, yeah, you know what. Of course, tell her I love her. Bye, everybody. Oh, and... Be safe out there and wear a mask.